So yes, welcome back once again all of you to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is for class 11 CBSE Applied Mathematics. So we have already started with the topic calendars and out of those five chapters we have already completed the first four chapters and this session is going to be the last chapter chapter 5 and here we are going to work some miscellaneous problems. So already in our previous four chapters, we have worked enough problems. We have seen many concepts there and also worked out very important problems, different varieties of problems. So if you have missed those videos, video lessons, kindly go see those videos so that it would be very easy for you to come here and refresh. Fine. Yes. So as told here, we are about to see some miscellaneous problems. Okay. So it is purely going to be the application of whatever things that we have seen in the earlier sessions. So that's the reason it would be better if you watch those previous video lessons and come here attend this session. Fine. Yes. So we'll just see what we are going to do here in this session. We are here with two questions and those two questions are what we are going to solve here in this session. So let's directly get into the questions first. So our first question is if Ranjit is celebrating his birthday on April 14, 2020, which is a Tuesday. Then our question is in which year again he will be celebrating his birthday on the same Tuesday. I hope the question is clear to you. So in 2020, I mean in this year, Ranjit is celebrating his birthday on April 14. Let's make a note of it. So here is our first question. So it is given that on this year, I mean in the year 2020 and the date is April 14. April 14 of 2020, Ranjit is going to celebrate his birthday and it's very clearly given that it is a Tuesday. Fine. That also we will note it. And what is that we are asked to find here in this question? So the question is very clear here. In which year? Again, that is in the future. Okay. Again, he will come to celebrate his birthday on the same Tuesday. So this year, his birthday it, it, it is falling on the date Tuesday. If you see the day of the week, it is falling on Tuesday. Now the question is again in the future, in which year he will again celebrate his birthday on the same Tuesday. This is the question. Okay. Little interesting, right? So we have already seen the concepts of odd days, leap year and ordinary year, everything we are aware of. So using those concepts of what we are again going to solve this problem also and get the answer. Let's see how are we going to work it. So since it is talking about the future, that is when he will again celebrate his birthday. That is the question, right? So we will go year wise, right? Okay, fine. So that is what we are going to do now. We will go step by step and we will try to catch again when his birthday will fall on the same Tuesday. So in which year we are going to get it, that year is going to be the answer. Fine. Yes, accepted. That is what we are going to do now. Yes, let's start now. So we know that the year 2020, his birthday was on Tuesday. Okay, let's note it. It was a Tuesday. And what next? Shall we go one year after? That is, we'll try to see what happens in 2021. So 2021, his birthday will be on which day? So we are now traveling from 2020's April to 2021's April. So remember the things that we have seen in the earlier sessions. So when we travel like this for one year, what thing we have to very clearly check? What thing we have to verify here? We should clearly verify whether we are crossing Feb 29 or not. That's the important thing we have to keep in our mind, right? So that we will check here. So in that case, 2020's April to 2021's April. So that means we will be crossing 2021's February only. And obviously 2021's Feb will have only 28 days because 2021 is going to be an ordinary year, right? So in that case, you will have only 28 days in 2021's February. Okay. Be clear with the words I'm using. Okay. So 2021's Feb, you will happen to get only 28 days. In that case, we will have only one odd day. So just do plus one. It's enough if you do plus one. Okay. Because it is like crossing only one ordinary year that is crossing only 365 days. So in that case, just plus one doing plus one, we will be having Wednesday, right? Yes. Fine. Let's continue. And are you okay with this? We have to continue this thing till we get back the same Tuesday. 
that's our point okay yeah anyways we'll continue so coming to the next year 2022 so what about 21 to 22 i mean 2021 to 2022 here again you will come to have the same 365 days only in that case again it's going to be plus one so this would be a thursday be careful right yes continue next 2023 so 22 is april to 23 is april again no doubt it's again going to be an ordinary year that is 365 days so that means again plus one so that means here we would have a friday yes continue the same way now the next year is going to be 2024 so what about 2024 now here we should be careful right because 2024 is a leap year in that case when we come to travel from 10 2023 is april to 2024 is april what happens we would definitely cross february 29 of this year i mean feb 2024 this obviously happens right in that case it is like you are crossing 366 days that is two all days so in that case friday after friday you would get plus two then that means friday skip saturday then you would end up with a sunday so that is 2024 april 14 is going to be a sunday is the point clear yes we are yet to reach tuesday we will continue so we should stop our process i mean this chain once we reach tuesday okay yes fine yeah next go ahead to next 2025 we have so 2025 what we have so 24 april to 25 april it's obviously 365 days so that means it's going to be just plus one so we would end up with a monday and one more we shall go so 2026 we will try so 25 is on monday and 26 again it is an ordinary year crossing 365 days so once again it is going to be plus one and we would be reaching a tuesday right done yes we have reached so see here so 2026 is the year that is getting tuesday once again back is it or not so 2020 is april he had tuesday's birthday i mean his april 14th his birthday was falling on a tuesday and once again after 2020 see in which year it is again a tuesday it's coming only in the year 2026 so that means here for this question the answer is 2026 okay so so after 2020 which year he will be celebrating in which year that's the question right in which year he would celebrate his birthday on tuesday so we got the answer tuesday it's coming next on the year 2026 so noted answer for this question is 2026 that's it yes fine so yeah we have one more question here there's an another interesting question given to us so our question is question number two our question is the last day of a century so century in the sense it's going to be 100 years is it or not so 100 years at the end of 100 years the last day of a century that's about this question so the last day of a century can be what days and it cannot be what days this is going to be the question very simple question okay yes so if you come to think about century immediately we should think about the centuries or days do you remember that we have already seen that right so if you are going to remember those concepts very strongly answering this question is not going to be a very big deal at all so let's see so it's going to be like first hundred years i mean year number one to year number hundred we come to have how many odd days we have five odd days let's note it and year 101 to year 200 here we would have five odd days again that also we have seen and year 201 to 300 here we had five odd days once again and lastly year 301 to year 400 here what about this case here we would have six odd days do you remember that is it or not it's going to be six odd days yes so yes these are all the things we have seen in the earlier sessions i hope this things we have seen in the second or third sessions so that itself we have clearly seen i've given the explanation also why it is working like this we have seen a clear description clear explanation for this why it is five 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 why it is six everything we have seen there so that's the reason i'm insisting you to see the previous videos okay so yes coming back here so for every hundred years i mean for the every century i've recorded the number of odd days we have here fine okay so in that case this five odd days this corresponds to the last day of this first century and what next 
this five days, this five odd days, this will correspond to the number of odd days for the second hundred years. I mean the second century. So in that way, we can even easily predict the day of the week also. Is it or not? Shall we do that now? Say yes, fine. So yes, take the first hundred years. So we have five odd days, and remember the previous session what we have seen there. So if it is five odd days, then it will be corresponding to which day? For five odd days, remember it. Always the day cycle starts from Monday. That we have already seen, right? So here Monday is like your first day. So if it is like one, it is Monday. Then two is Tuesday, three is Wednesday, four is Thursday, and five corresponds to Friday. Is it or not? So that means let's note it. It is going to be a Friday. Which one? The last day of the first century is going to be a Friday. That's it. And yes, continue. And what about this five days? I mean the second century. Here for second century, once again we have got another five odd days, right? So that means what would be the last day of the second century? Don't again repeat it and put it as a Friday. Okay? It is not like that. This last day is Friday. From this Friday we have to move on for another five odd days. That's going to be the point. I mean, like I'm coming to say that just do plus five from this Friday. That day would be the last day of the second century. I hope you're able to understand the point. So the last day of the second century will be Friday plus another five. So Friday plus five would give you how much? So Friday plus five would be nothing but Friday. Then we have to do plus five more days. It would be like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Note it here, Wednesday. And next is again third century. From Wednesday we have to move for another five more days because we have got five odd days once again here. So plus five doing here plus five we would get Wednesday plus five. I think Wednesday plus five we would be landing on a Monday. So note it. It's a Monday. And lastly we have the fourth century three not one to four hundred. Here we have got six odd days. Is it or not? So in that case from Monday we have to do plus six. So if we do Monday plus six, what day we would end up with? So we would be getting a Saturday, is it or not? If I am right, yes, it is a Saturday. What day it is? So Monday plus six we have to do. Let's take it Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a Sunday. So here the day would be a Sunday. Yes, fine. So that means the last day of our centuries can be these days. Is the point clear to you? So these four possible days are the days which which are possible days which which can be which can form this last day of a century. That's our point. Okay. So that means can be it can be a Friday. I'm I'm just writing in short Friday. It can be a Wednesday, or it can be a Monday, or it can be a Sunday. That's it. Then what about cannot be? It's very simple, right? If it can be these days, then it can't be. Which days? The other remaining days. Okay. So what are the other days of the week missing here? We have already four days here. So the other three days are what cannot be, right? So what are the other three days? It they are they are Tuesday. Then we have a Thursday. Then we have a Saturday. I'm right? Yes, fine. Yes, Saturday. That's it. so the last day of century cannot be these three days. Fine. Yes. And again, you may have a doubt here. What about the next century? Because we have considered only the first four centuries, is it or not? I mean, the first four hundred years alone we have taken. Then what happens to the next century? I mean, like what happens if I take four not one to five hundred, five not one to six hundred, and so on? What happens? The story is very simple because we have again reached zero odd days here itself, is it or not? Because count it and see, twenty-one days. So twenty-one days means it is again like zero odd days. So that means once again, even if we try to continue. We would again get five, 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 six. So the cycle is going to repeat and repeat. Is the point clear? So in that case, again we would get the same cyclicity of these four days. So our last days will be again repeatedly these four days only. And in that case, what other days it can't be? The days can't be Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. That's it. Yes, fine. So yes. So I hope you are able to clearly understand these two problems that we are solving here in this today's session. And kindly have a view also. And any possible doubts, you can just comment it in the comment section. You can just let us know it. And uh, yes, if you feel that this sessions were useful, you just give a like here. And also 
please pass it to your share it to your friends also they can also get benefited about these sessions and yes successfully successfully we are just finishing this calendars topic so out of five sessions we have completed all these five sections and hopefully we will continue with some other interesting topic from our next session onwards catch you soon there thank you so much